Hey there, friends. So we're beginning the series on component one for our MOC, maintenance of certification. This would be if you're renewing for the national board. And we always begin with component one when we work through the maintenance of certification process. A lot of people want to just get to the video and get it done, but I don't advise that at all. If you want more information about how to get started, make sure to go over to tracybryantstuckey.com boot camp. It'll really get you in the mindset of leading with needs, understanding the rubric, and getting things planned out in the correct order. But for now, I want to go through the very first question. Actually, it's first two questions in the component one process. And they're all around um, providing a context for what it is you're doing in this PGE and defining the needs. The renewal process is all about you discovering needs and then meeting those needs through professional growth, leadership, learning, collaborating, advocating. So providing the context early on is really important. And that would just follow the title. For me, it would you would put your PGE one colon and the title, bold face it so the assessor can pick it up quickly in the beginning and then give what I call the rationale. Like why, What? how did you get into this? Where did this start from in your mind? You're not going into the needs at this point. You're just um, giving kind of that background information that the assessor needs to understand that leads to you telling them what the needs were. So always through these first two questions, assessors will say, I mean, sorry, I was an assessor at one time for the renewal process, but um, candidates will say, you know, how are they different? I don't understand. Like they seem like the same thing. Well, they do seem like the same thing. But if you really think about um, the first question as just, you know, prepping you to understand why the needs were important, how you arrived at those needs, so to speak, that's what the first question is. And the second question is identifying the needs. So the verbs are different there, providing a context and then identifying your PGE um, needs. Um, so then it also says describe your PGE and explain how it demonstrates a response to the identified needs. So notice that I personally, um, and this is from reading you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these and really trying to score off of the rubric, it's easier to flip and give that true understanding to the assessor about how and why you got into this and, and what the practicalities are of it, and then list the needs. Therefore, my needs were, um, you know, my needs, my students' needs, my colleagues' needs, parents' needs, uh, community needs, whatever. You don't have to use all those needs. You might only have student needs or only your needs or your needs and student needs. One PGE might have four different kinds of needs and another PGE only have one need from one person. It doesn't matter how the needs are set up. What matters is you lead with the needs. And it's very clear to the assessor that you didn't just do this because your district said, oh, you know, we're all doing science of reading. Sign up. No, you have to understand that you saw the student's need for a drastically different approach to learning to read. You had needs around being able to teach reading in a more systematic fashion and that type of thing. So make sure, again, go over and join the free boot camp. If you have it, all of this around needs will be super, super clear for you. This part of C1 probably takes up, you know, half a page, three quarters of a page at the most. That's it. That's all these two questions take up in the entire four pages. And it's typically about a half of a page that you're doing here. So the next video in this series, we're going to talk about acquiring and deepening content and pedagogical knowledge and how that folds into component one for both of your PGEs. I hope this helps. I hope you're able to 
lead with those needs and get busy understanding the entire portfolio through this series. All right, I'll see you over at tracybryantstuckey.com for the bootcamp if you haven't already been there. Bye now.